Hey everyone, this is Blake with Recruitment Hockey coming at you with another video. Today I'm going to be drawing up one of uh, one of the drills I like to do on a full ice sheet. Um, and I hope you enjoy. For starters, I would like to say thank you for everybody for checking out my last video. It was my most viewed videos thus far. Um, and like I said, those views, likes, comments, shares, they, uh, they do go a long way for me, even though it might not seem like much to you. So for everybody that does view regularly, I am greatly appreciative of that. Um, without further ado, let's get into the video. So for starters, we are going to put pucks in every single corner. One sec. We are going to put pucks in every single corner. So, obviously, they come up as squares on here, but we take what we can get, and this is what I got, and this is the best I can do. So, pucks, every single corner, you get the gist. So, there they are, and we're going to put players in every single corner with the pucks. Alright, doesn't matter, forwards, defense, anybody and everybody can do this drill. It's a great drill for just about anything. So, pucks and players all four quarters using the full sheet of ice. To start the drill, it's a flow drill, so there's not going to be any stopping, no whistles. Um, players are simply supposed to compete the, complete this drill, moving quick, playing fast, and if you know me, I preach good passing and good skating, and this drill is the epitome of that. If you, can, if you can't pass in this drill, it makes it extremely tough. Being able to pass using, catching using your backhand, uh, passing using your backhand, catching on your forehand, um, moving and passing to, you know, a moving target right on the stick um, is mightily important. And in this drill, if you can't do that, uh, you should probably break it down a little bit more and practice um, simpler passing drills. So this one's going to be a little bit more advanced. Um, obviously, make sure that the players that you are doing this drill with are strong enough to pass it. Cross ice while moving. Um, I use this. I haven't used this drill for probably children under the age of 14. Uh, I use it with my, my high school team, but that's about about it. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna start in this corner over here. So first thing, player starts. Players are gonna be moving up and down the ice, so they're gonna be going all the way down, all the way back. So the player's gonna start going with the guy in front of them, passing back and forth with his teammate up and down the ice all right I mean I would probably use the the dots as kind of where they're going up and down the ice all right whichever player has a puck at the red line is the one that's going to pass it down to the opposing line so let's say this player obviously he's coming up the ice passing back and forth again coming up the ice passing back and forth with his his line mate that he's going with so the player, we'll call this one player one here, player two down here. So player one has the puck. At the red line, he's going to pass it down to the first person in this line. And this is something I really like about this drill, is how it keeps everybody involved. All right, meanwhile, I'm going to pause the video here. I didn't mean to do that. And I will draw back up and get right back to you. So just give me one moment. All right, sorry about that. I got the drill redrawn. Um, and here, so here we are, pick it up where we left off. Now, obviously, when players are moving quick, I don't think they're necessarily going to be able to make one, two, three, four, five, six passes. It's probably going to be more two or three, which is okay. Just, um, you know, as long as the players are moving quick and ma making quick passes and staying in motion, uh, that's the biggest thing with this drill. So, now the player, player one, crossing the red line, he's going to put the puck to his teammate that's in, we'll call it corner, corner three. All right, so to corner three, and then we'll call this corner four. All right, now player three is going to step up just a tad bit, so he just gets in front of the goaltender because obviously the goalie is going to be in this area, and we want to make sure we're not touching his skates. And he's going to pass it across to the corner four. All right, obviously corner four, same thing. Make sure they just step out just a tad bit and catch that pass. Now. The variations of this drill can be done different. Um, let me actually draw how the players 1 and 2 are going to maneuver, and then we'll get into where we go from there. So player 1, obviously he made that pass. He's going to pick up speed around here, getting nice and low, 
and he's always facing the puck. So obviously that pass is going to be made as he's coming through. So he's going to be hitting some crossovers and getting up the ice this way. Player two, always facing the puck. All right, he's facing it when it's in corner one. Now the pass is starting to get over. Now he opens up and gets up the ice this way. All right, so now player four, who still has the puck, there's two different variations of this. So he can simply chip it into open space right here, which I recommend doing when you're coaching this drill. But I also highly recommend, and I usually run the drill this way, more often than not, is that they catch this pass, they get off the boards a little bit. Now, I drew this too far over. You Realistically, he's going to step up here and then take one step over. And he's going to put this one 45 degrees off the glass so it lands right in front of him. All right. So that's a very important thing that, that brings up, that reminds me, is that we don't want to be chipping this puck at 90 degrees, where it's going to hit here and go way down there. Practicing the skill of simply taking a step off, whether it's on their forehand or backhand, and getting it off the glass and getting it to land over in this spot so that player one can pick it up with speed is very important. All right, so after we execute that pass, this forward comes up. Obviously, player one has the puck. Player two works back into the middle. We start making more passes. Pass across. Another, whoever reaches the puck, whoever has the puck at the red line, they're the one attacking the zone. So we're going to actually go here. We got player one. I drew it up as player one ending up with the puck once again. All right, so player one comes up. Player two without the puck is going to attack. Obviously staying on sides. Player one come in, button hook. Button hook quick, get their eyes up and throw it off the pad so that the player two that is crashing can come in and bang it home. All right, so it looks like a lot on paper, but it really isn't that hard to understand. It's very hard for players to really execute the drill more than it is for them to understand the drill. All right, so the reason we have a button hook here is just simple, more practice, right? Being able to come in fast, throw on the brakes, without you know killing their momentum getting their head up and then this pop pass off the pad making sure that they're going for this far post i usually stay about three four inches off the ice and that's simply all they got to do all right player two obviously has to book it down the ice get into a good spot make sure that they're timing it they don't want to end up on top of the goalie and have the puck get by them all right they're reading wherever player one is and when they feel it's time to really crash the net they're doing so Going into the net now with reckless abandon, two hands on the stick, bending their knees, ready to score a goal. All right, so like I said, I know it, it looks like a lot when it's on paper, but it, it really truly is a relatively easy drill to comprehend. It's just a tougher drill for players to execute, like I said. So if they aren't ready for these full ice passes, don't try to rebuild the wheel. Do step A and B before C and D. All right? I would consider this kind of drill a C and D type of drill. If they can't make five-foot passes with their eyes closed, they're not ready for this drill. If they can't make 10-foot passes on the tape while moving, they're not ready for this drill. All right, so be smart. Don't waste your practice time. I understand ice is expensive. Work your way into this drill. It's not going to be something that it's easy for a lot of players to pick up. All right. Using a full ice sheet like this, there are also options where, you know, you can slow it down and bring the players in like so and make these smaller passes up and down the ice. Maybe you only use the red line if you got younger players, right? Using the same concept, pass it once they get to maybe the top of the circle, all right? Move it over, chip into the middle of the ice, attack, maybe just some two on all right? Those are different kind of concepts that you can practice, but for this drill itself, being able to pass it back and forth up and down the ice is very important. Now, after the players one and two, I usually say once they cross the red line, that's when players three and four start. So make sure that they're communicating, they get their eyes up. Whoever wants to start the drill doesn't matter. They start right away passing up and down the ice, going ahead and making their plays and doing the same thing. All right, so after those players are done, players one and two, get out of the way, get in back of the line, 
and the drill just continues. So essentially they're following up their play with their own play. There's no whistles involved. It's a simple flow drill, and it's a it's a great practice drill. So this has been another video from Blake Akbarth with Recruitment Hockey. Like I said earlier, earlier in the video, I appreciate everybody that did tune in and watch my my previous video. Like I said, it was a um, all right, my most viewed video. So count how many times I said like I said in this video because I feel like I've said it a lot, at least in the last 40 seconds. Um, but yeah, make sure you continue to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and let's keep, um, you know, I love to share my hockey knowledge and I love to learn from people as well. So feel free to comment on the video and let me know how this drill goes for you. Or if you have any suggestions for me, I don't think I'm the smartest guy in the room and whatever helps me become a better coach and however I can help you become a better coach. That's, that's what I'm here for. And, you know, helping the children grow into successful human scholars athletes. Thank you very much.